we are diving into the rich cultural celebration of Kwanzaa. It's a holiday that honors African heritage, community, and values. And here to tell us more is Annie McCary with African American Heritage Club and her guest, Nancy. I'm going to let you introduce Nancy. Well, actually, you've already introduced Nancy. <laughs> Nancy lives in Laguna Woods, and she's been here for a while. She is new to our club. And she's so not new to Laguna she's Woods. She's not new to the village at all. She's new to the club. She yeah. recently joined, and we've already put her to work with membership. She has an amazing background in business and computers, and so we have a spot for her. I'm glad to have you here today. We're going to talk all things Kwanzaa, and I'm excited to learn more about it. Tell us, what is Kwanzaa, and what does the holiday represent? So, so first of all, it, it's often confused as a holiday, but it's not really a holiday. It's a seven-day celebration of seven principles. And so Kwanzaa came about or back in the 1960s by a um, Cal State Long Beach uh, professor of, of African studies. And Kwanzaa was born out of the time when there were the Watts riots, when there was a lot of burning of the communities. And he was looking at ways to bring the community to, together. So he looked at some African traditions and some African cultures and put together a, a series of events and he named them Kwanzaa. And he called it Kwanzaa. It's a Swahili word because the, that's the, one of the major languages that is spoken in parts of Africa. So Kwanzaa is Swahili. And it means first mm -hmm. harvest or first fruit. Wow, so that's the origin of Kwanzaa. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I did not know that. How many people traditionally celebrate? Well, it's interesting. In it? A lot of people, Kwanzaa is celebrated all across America, and some and parts of Europe also celebrate Kwanzaa. In is parts it, of Africa, is, yes. I was going to ask, in parts of Africa as yeah. well? Af Africa as well. The oh, UK, goodness. there are parts of the UK that celebrate Kwanzaa. Wow. Nancy, tell us, what are the seven principles? Ah, okay, as Annie mentioned, there, it is seven principles. And uh, the first one is unity. Uh, it's pronounced uh, Jomada in Swahili. Jomada. Yeah, Jomada. And basically, it's just uh, unity. It, it, this unity, it's unity of the family, the community, the nation, and the race. Mm -hmm. And that's the first one. Okay. The second one, it's uh, pronounced um, in Swahili, kudicha bulira, okay, and that means self-determination. So bas basically, people stand up and speak for themselves, you know, with confidence, and that's what that means. And the third one, ugima, and uh, that is for um, collective work and responsibility, and what they do uh, as a community, they uplift the community, and within this community, everybody's considered brothers and sisters. So when a brother or a sister has a problem, the entire community solves it together with them. Interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. Jumata, uh, it's almost like uh, ukuma, but it's a cooperative for economics. So they work together, and uh, they build, they maintain their own stores, shops, businesses, and they profit together. You know, as you know, a one big family. Like uh, Nia, that means either purpose or intention, and uh, at that point, what they do is they restore people to their tradition, their greatness that they had. You know, before Europeans came over, so they do try to still walk forward in their greatness. Mm -hmm. You know, there were kings, there were queens. Okay, <laughs> and a lot of people don't know that. They're so undeveloped, you know. Right. So, uh, kumba, that means creativity. And that is to do always as much as you can in the way that you can in order to leave the community more beneficial and more beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the last one, imani, that means faith. And it's uh, to believe with all your heart people in the community, the parents in the community, the teachers, the leaders, and most of all, the struggle that they all went through. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's um, 
short little snap on the seven principles. Those Thank are you. wonderful principles to live by on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And be, so because Kwanzaa is celebrated over a seven day period, it begins uh, the day after Christmas, December 25th, and it ends the day before New Year's, mm -hmm. uh, December 31st. And what, what we do in, in honor of it is every single day, for those seven days, we light one of the candles. Oh. And, and we light it and it represents, like Nancy said, whether mm -hmm. it's faith or self-determination. Mm -hmm. And we light a candle for each one of for those. For each one. Yeah, the first three are usually for the, co the color of the race, black. And uh, the green is for moving forward, you know, with energy. Yes. And the red is for the blood of the people living and blood for the people who have passed away. Wow. Mm -hmm. So there were, we had families, you know, oh my goodness. <laughs> and communities. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that, in a nutshell, is mm -hmm. um, a well, crash course on Kwanzaa. Yeah. Crash course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and people celebrate. Uh, Pre-COVID, there was a lot more active celebration where people would actually visit their neighbors and bring food, bring pies, mm -hmm. bring uh, just vegetables and gift giving for children, like books and and yes. a, a lot of that. So mm -hmm. we recreate Kwanzaa when we have our annual Kwanzaa celebration, which is coming up. Let's um, talk about that. Yeah. That's coming up Friday, December twentieth. Yes, yes. We changed our venue just a little bit because last year we uh, had standing room only. So we normally meet at Clubhouse Five, and so this year. We were able to secure a room at, at the Performing Arts Center, and uh, which accommodates more people. And we we're able to just feast on Kwanzaa with music. And we're going to have someone reading a story. Uh, we're going to have some music, some drumming music, and we're just going to celebrate Kwanzaa. Sounds and some wonderful. good food. Good food. You know? <laughs> and I love that you're suggesting to dress in either holiday attire or. African yes. attire. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And, that will make it really festive. Absolutely. Yes. And the other, one of the other things that we do, and we kind of put it nicely on the flyer, we call it um, gift exchange, but it's actually, uh, we call it the white elephant, and it's actually a gift swap. Okay. Where if people bring gifts, and if someone else wants it, they have an opportunity to snatch it. So right. uh, those are fun games. Those are it's fun games. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> and with then that. you're requesting attendees to bring a dessert. Yes, if they'd like, if they'd like a dessert, we will have some dessert. We have traditional sweet potato pie and some other desserts. And sometimes people want something different. So if you have a pound cake or bundt cake or something that you'd like to bring, please do. Okay. And the cost is uh, fifteen dollars. <laughs> We do have limited seating, and so we're asking people to make their reservations early. Because, uh, uh, and we we are looking for probably a hundred people, so we are having enough food for a hundred people. So, and how do our viewers RSVP if they'd like to attend? Well, they, we can they can RSVP via our email, which is on the flyer aahc.lagunawoods.org, or they can call one of the phone numbers that are on the flyer. Wonderful. That sounds like a great event that you're putting on. Yes. Best of luck to you for that. With that, now quickly, I know that you are planning a an event in January. The Spirit of Harriet Tubman, a one-woman show. As that event develops, you'll be back on to tell us more details. Absolutely. Yes. I can just give you a little bit of detail right now. We are, have chartered a bus, and we're going to be leaving from the Performing Arts Center. Uh, going to Sarita's Performing Arts Center to see the one-woman show about Harriet Tubman. And for people who don't know about Harriet Tubman, she's like the most famous for the Underground Railroad right. and, and having people get through uh, freedom from slavery. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a chartered bus, and it's going to take us directly to the Performing Arts Center and bring us back to Clubhouse 3. Wonderful. Well, can't wait to hear more And if there's any that. information, they can call myself at area code 562 505-5658, or send us an email through the African American Heritage Club. Wonderful. Yeah. Ladies, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank Nancy you. Nancy and Annie from thank African you. American Heritage Club, we appreciate you mm -hmm. coming. Thank you, and happy Thanksgiving to yes, you. Yes, indeed. Appreciate it yes. very much. You're watching This Day on Village TV. We'll be right back after these messages.